All right, moving on to clothes. I have vintage and I have new, so let's go through new first because I'm not trying to be too crazy. Ooh, should I do accessories? Nah, we'll do accessories after fashion. Please don't freak out. I know I'm trying to be sustainable, but like I said, I am just a regular, schmegular human being. I'm just trying to live my life. And while I have a very good amount of vintage clothes and I still wear them and I still treasure them and I have sustainable lifestyle habits, a girl has to buy basics. You know what I mean? These are some of these things that I just can't compromise on. If I know I'm gonna wear them a lot, I'll just buy them. Pretty much all of these are from Platinum Mall. I'm sure everyone and their mom knows like what Platinum Mall does, but if you don't know, Platinum Mall is a wholesale fashion outlet where they just have tons and tons of clothes, accessories, shoes, hair tools, all that sort of stuff. Just imagine a Bugis Street but like multi-stories across two different buildings with like a little bridge in the middle and it's humongous. You can spend a whole day in there. We spent the first day going through everything and then we went back the last day before our flight was at like six or something just to go there and pick up the stuff that we tried on we were like oh my god this is actually great you know stuff that you looked at and you were like i'm not sure and then you go home and you're like oh i want it so yeah we made those like final purchases on the last day but i'm just gonna show you all the stuff that i got uh, a bit paisa showing you this but whatever lah okay i got undergarments because over there right their stuff is just not overpriced there's no brand affiliation so i feel like the prices are a lot more reasonable and it matches the quality a lot better. So I got a couple of bras. I'm not going to show it to you because I don't know what people on the internet are going to do with that kind of information. So just to let you know, they do have cupped bras. I bought a really basic one and then I got one with like seamless. So the ends are sort of like this, like little teeth. I really like the lady that was at the store. There are a couple of different stores, but I went to the one nearer to the Novotel side. It's on the second floor near where the bridge is and then you turn left. It's right at the corner, right at the corner of that mall. When I was leaving, I saw these and I feel like, okay, like these are okay for me to show you right it's not so risque and these are essentially like bralettes with no underwire but they are tight and like sturdy enough and they have a really firm like good padding and i was initially very drawn to the different colors so they had this in mustard they had it in like a sky cloudy blue burnt red they had black and then they had olive you know when something's too good you're like this is not real so like i didn't buy the mustard yellow even though i really wanted to and i just got these two because i figured that these were more like basics and the reason why i buy this is because any like dress dress or top that's a little bit too low cut and I don't like showing my bra but I also don't like putting a tube it's just ugly ruins the silhouette I thought that this like V shape would be very nice to complement and it doesn't immediately look like a bra if you're just seeing the top of it because it is ribbed so it does look like a bralette or like a tank top underneath so I just thought that was fun and they also have undies with it and it's high cut it's very thin I'm not gonna show the whole thing okay just look at the band look at it Okay, so I just feel very awkward showing my under. Do my do you know my parents watch my videos? So I also got it in black. So this is what it looks like, and it looks a little bit longer. And they have a low back behind, by the way, right here, which is great. There isn't a zip or anything. It's just a very comfortable bralette to wear. And it doesn't extend too long as well. This bend really just wraps around your underbust and gives you a lot of support. This was supposed to be 200 baht, but because I had bought so many items, she just started selling me at wholesale price. If you buy more than two, immediately you get the wholesale price, which is 150 baht. So I got two for 300. Okay, speaking of 150 baht, there is another store. If you cross that bridge, you go to the other side of that building which is nearer to Grand Diamond Suites. There was a stall on the second floor as well in one of the middle lanes opposite Dazzle Me contact lens shop. They had these like basics going for 150 baht. The whole store was 150 baht. So needless to say, I went a bit nuts because before that, whenever we went to all the different stores, it was like 600 baht, 500 baht and you're not really allowed to haggle. If you buy more, maybe you can shave off like 50 baht but they're just tired of people haggling so they're like no haggling. To see everything in 150 baht was cray cray and it was stuff that I've been looking for for a while. So 
talking like shorts that are not so short so this is in olive this was the belt that came with it's not a fantastic belt la. i think it's just for fashion not really for function this sort of thing they also have it in white and cream so i did in fact get it in cream the thing about like bangkok shopping is that sometimes their sizing is very different from what we are used to because we do have a lot of like western uh, american manufacturing that actually give allowance for your curves i do realize that for some reason in bangkok like it's very sleek and it's very straight and usually it's uh, way smaller than adult human sizes so i do realize that this is a little bit tight when my ass starts to go up you know you know that that hump <sighs> even though there is an elastic band at the bottom this part here just looks a little just looks a little bit tight you know and i was like oh yikes i bought two already but if you're more slender and you're more narrow in your hips like these are perfect these look so great there are a lot of loose threads lah. you're gonna have to like fix that yourself that's what happens when you purchase fast fashion guilty these are just like white legged they also have the elastic at the end some people absolutely hate it because it looks very like cheap and frumpy honestly i don't mind it most of my shirts cover it anyway if it doesn't i don't think it's that big of a deal i stumbled upon it i just really like this blurple this sort of like muted indigo it's an off-shoulder top i haven't worn it yet so i don't know how it fits but it just looks so cute there were a bunch of different colors but this one just caught my eye oh my god as you can see i love this color and this dress is one of the only dresses that I have in this colour and I just love it so much. So yeah, this one would go well with like white, would go well with like cream even, so I really liked it. And I'm sorry if you guys are mad that there's no try on, there's just no time, honestly. You're gonna see it on my Instagram, like just follow me on Instagram and like... When I do outfit of the days, and I probably will wear a lot of these and like with makeup and stuff, you'll see it on my stories, so... Mm -hmm. don't worry about it and this is a cardigan and i know what you're thinking this color is so cray cray but i love it and i think this color is actually very trendy it was very trendy last spring i think it might still be trendy and i really like it i just think it's so cute it is very cozy it's very very soft and it came in white, it came in a beigey colour, it came in black as well, but I just really like this green. I just think it makes me happy. Moving on, I also got these pair of like shorts because they were like a hundred baht and it's just like at-home shorts. They have pockets, they're really quite sturdy, they're a little bit thicker than your usual pair of like sweatpants. And I got this actually at Talat Rotfai Srinakarin, which is the night train market. So there's one Rotfai Rachada and then there's one Srinakarin and I been to Rachada before, that was also really great, we just didn't have the time. Srinakarin is fantastic, don't even know if I'm saying that correct, I love it. So they have like a whole spectrum of colours and I got the most basic one. I also got this at Platinum and I think this was like 300 baht. It's a one shoulder sort of thing, it has a bow, when have I ever worn a bloody bow? I don't know, I might take it off, I might just leave it, it's pretty cute. This olive colour is really nice, they also had one in like a mid-tone cloudy blue. I told the auntie I wasn't gonna get it because I don't think it can fit my bust. And she was like, I can, can, I show you. So she was like measuring and she's measuring and it fit exactly. She was like, can, 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 and then I was like, I don't know if can sis, I don't know. So I bought it and turns out it does fit. But like, I look like a sausage ready to be cut. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, just not like the most fantastic fit. And it's just very, very fitted for me now. The sausage look isn't something that I'm coveting right now. So I might like leave it. Maybe it's just like, my period is coming. You know, I'm like swelling and bloating and just like being a little bit more like... You know, maybe once it's over, I can fit it. I don't know. I don't know. I always get socks when I'm overseas. For some reason, they just have like a fun variety They're usually way cheaper as well i love getting my socks from like korea and, and thailand so i'm gonna show you all what i got these three were for a hundred baht which is like five bucks so i got this simple i was just planning to wear this with like my white sneakers and then i got these which are like a pink and a blue and then i decided to get these so these are four for 100 baht which are nice this is like a mustardy one i realized that i have like high tops that i never wear because i don't have socks that are not too short and not too long so this is perfect and then i got the exact same one in green and then i got another pair of like mustard ones that are a little bit higher than usual ankle socks just because they like to slip 
And then I got this one because I don't know, it's like beigey and it's like fun and with a lip in the middle. I don't know what it could possibly mean, but it just looks fun. There was also one in grey, so yeah, I got these for socks. Moving on to... I only got one bag this time round, and also because I had a carry-on and I wasn't checking in anything, I went there with like an almost empty luggage and I told myself, bags take up a lot of space, don't buy bags, girl. But I got a bag. I'm very excited about this bag. This bag is from Just In Case. This was at Terminal 21, opposite Eve and Boy and like that beauty secret sort of place. It was like one of those turns. Wow, I really love it. They were having a 50% off sale. I think this might be the most expensive thing that I bought. I forgot how much it was, maybe... I think when it gets a little bit expensive, I just like mentally block it out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's just this cute size. It's not too big, it's not too small. Sometimes when like small bags are too small and big bags are too big, you just want something that fits in the middle, right? I feel like this one fits in the middle. It's so cute. Honestly, even though black looks really boring, first of all, it feels amazing. I double checked with them, it's not real leather and I actually prefer it because <sighs> if you felt lamb skin before, it feels like that and it also comes with a smaller pouch for you to either wear separately or put it inside I'm probably gonna put it inside and use it as a separator but it's so flat it's so cute the straps are like perfect for gapping underneath or like right here oh my god the sun is going down I need to speed up this haul man holy shit but yeah this is just such a great bag and I love it very much and I'm actually gonna wear it right now because I'm actually supposed to go somewhere <laughs> alright on to accessories now while I was at Platinum Mall, remember I was talking about the uh, wholesale 150 place and I said it was opposite this Dazzle Me contact lens store. So my friend Bernice is a big contact lens wearer. That girl is blessed with 20-20 vision and she still wants to wear contact lenses. It's really frustrating. But I always love the colour of her eyes. So she asked me if I wanted to try because she had the member card and they are like really really cheap. You can order them from Singapore but with shipping and everything, they come up to about $10 a pair. Over there, it's like $5 a pair. I think. I have really bad astigmatism. That's why I never went for contact lenses because there are no contact lenses, like especially coloured ones, to fit my eyes. But I was like, do I want to be blind and just look good for some photos or like some video tutorials or stuff like that? So I got one in just like my short-sighted like degree. They do have to convert it, so I recommend you bringing a pair of glasses there or just having someone like your optometrist like write down your degree so that they can convert it. And then I also got a pair of these like really cool Rachel lenses which are a little bit less intense and when you have different degrees you have to buy two of each because they come in a pair don't know I've never seen myself you know with grey eyes before and I thought why not I will wear them one day and show you all how it looks like alright I'm also done with my hair I don't know I, I don't know how I feel I look very different from my usual I'm not done with it yet I only did my eye makeup how do I feel? Why am I green? I don't know. Accessories wise, I have very little things to share with you lah. It's very simple. I got a kiap with these two smaller ones that are on my head right now for 20 baht, which is $1 at Rot5 Srinakarin. When we went, it was a Thursday night and it was pouring rain, like it had just stopped. So I would say a good 70% of the stores were closed and we still had a great time. We like struggled for a while at first because we went to the booths that were all closed and then this was the only sort of hair and like earring place that was open. When you go to like the actual bigger stores, that's when the vintage is. Yeah, and we like discovered them at like midnight. This is super random but... Um, when we were at Rot5 Street Nakarin, we were walking around and we stumbled on a couple of thrift stores and I was like, finally, because everyone was saying, not everyone, there were a couple of you gems when I was asking for recommendations on my Instagram stories and y'all were like, you gotta go to Street Nakarin, like specifically because you're gonna love it there. There are a lot of thrift stores, a lot of vintage stores, like it's really up your alley. And after dinner, we were walking around and we finally found them. If you are into like sport shoes, they have like the early like really new releases that people just don't want to wear anymore and just like brand new looking shoes second hand for way cheaper so we saw nikes for about like 80 dollars that sort of thing so yeah i mean if you're into that you can go but i personally wasn't so i was looking at more of like band tees i was looking at more um like just casual stuff and we bumped into these people that ran the store and they were like friends with the ones opposite and we just like hung out with them and they were playing guitar and we were like play for us <laughs> Thank you. 
ขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะ
much. We just painstakingly went to an ATM to withdraw money. Oh, okay, maybe later when we come back, we see if we want more. Okay, I take one first. One. I was thinking about getting it framed but I like the fact that it's a towel and I like this like rustic feel and it's just really cool so I'm gonna hang it on my, on my refrigerator it's like half ah, so cute oh okay this is also not vintage but this looks vintage and it's actually for my brother so my little brother was looking for tops and being the elder sister we're like five years apart only but I see him as my child so I was like okay do you want anything like I'll get you something and I know that he's really into like button-down shirts and I think he looks really good in them so I let him pick out his own and he picked this this is a navy button down shirt with um, yellow stripes I got this at Chatu Chap so we didn't go on Saturday morning because we were flying back at like 6 or 8 p.m. and it's just a bit of a rush and you know when you go to Chatu Chap you have to spend the whole day so we actually went to Chatu Chap at night and the inside places where you find a lot of the hidden gems they're not open but the main few stalls in front of Chatu Chap they're open so if you want to get like the Chatu Chap vibe if you want to just see and you're not super like interested in looking for a specific something go on Friday night it's not hot it's a lot more locals there as well a Friday night so people say usually the prices are a little bit more reasonable so that's just you know what I heard and I got this for 150 baht which I think is pretty great it's very light very smooth creaseless material and it's made in Thailand so yeah it's cool now moving on to vintage blouses I found all of these at Talat Rotfai Srinakarin first of all just a really fun big floral shirt. I just found it cute and I think I like this kind of like relaxed fit. You know me, you can wear this as an outerwear, you can wear it on top of your bikini, you can wear this like on a hot summer's day which is every day in Singapore. So I like it. And then this one, I don't know how I feel about it now. It was like ugly pretty and I think I just got too excited. It's lame but it's really cute and it's really comfy. This is 100% silk and it just looks like this. Yeah, it does look a bit old ugly, but I feel like I could pull it off, so I like it. And then this one is also 100% silk. This is like a textured... Look at the... look at the little bit. Yeah, cool, right? It's just like these... these little buttons. Yeah, I love it. I think they're so cute. This is from Eileen Fisher. So it's just a cool, like... I don't know. I was... I don't know. I was thinking of tying the bottom. I do really like the colour because I just think the colour is really interesting and the creases are so intricate. And I just found it pretty cool. Okay. This one especially, I was really excited. I've always wanted like a cool like cheetah-esque print but I've just never been able to find something that was not too loud but not not a cheetah print. So I feel like this is the closest. This is from Garmin Jahan. I don't know. It sounds chill you know it's like a sheer chiffony type of type of blouse i don't know it's cute okay Ooh, this one's cool too i just really like the color because i thought the color was cool it's this like sheen lavender it's also a hundred percent silk it's from worthington it's a very like feminine cut and it's also a beautiful color you can see the sheen right Beautiful. This is from Laura and Jane. It's also 100% silk. Natural fibers like linen and silk and cotton generally hold up better. So when you're looking for vintage, you should look for that. Um, not to say that rayon or acrylic is not good. Not to say that polyester isn't good. But that's what I go for at least. So this is a stunning red. It has just like slight like swirly swirly details. I don't know if you can see. Can you see it? Can you see it? Very very lightweight and it's just a beautiful like relaxed cut and I just I I collect vintage blouses yeah it's becoming like sort of a problem but I don't know if there's like a vintage blouse anonymous sort of program that I can enter and be like I'm a hoarder. They also carry dresses at that place and I'm gonna show you the other blouse the last blouse later but I found this Oh my god, this is a tea pal, but it's super casual. It's this beautiful, like, army olive green, like, olive green, but someone turned up the saturation. And in the light, there's just this, like, like, amber sheen. I don't know if you can see it. 
Can you see it? That, that's just like something about the threading in it that just makes it look so, so beautiful. And it's straight cut and it's super normal. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at it. It's so beautiful. I'm really excited to get this because I've always wanted to wear like a more casual tea pao or chong sam, I guess. And speaking of dresses, I actually got this dress at the camp. This was the only thing that I got at the camp, actually. This and another blouse, but that blouse is meant for Gomago, so can't show you now. You're gonna have to look at Gomago. This was $6.90, but I got this for $600. Managed to haggle it. Not a lot, but it's just a cool, like, khaki button drown button drown <laughs> button down dress detective style like long dress it is a little bit oversized but i kind of like that it's oversized probably gonna just cinch it with this belt i don't know if i want to sell this on gomago instead because it is true vintage and it just looks very much like the gomago aesthetic but i sort of want to keep it and see how i feel about it first because i'm just like really excited i found it it's really really cool it looks like you're wearing a trench coat I found this in a shop that's uh, a long dum dum vintage store just in front a couple and they have very hyper feminine stuff and they were not cheap so to find that I was like okay okay and then the last item oh is this the last item yeah okay I think it is at the entrance of Chatu Cha we came from Kam Feng Fat and when you come out and you walk like this, you can see this store immediately. It just has rows and rows and rows of like blouses. And one for 200, three for 500. You go in and look and I was looking at two but I couldn't find a third one. And I was like, do I really want to be struggling to fit stuff in and get stuff just because I can like minus like $5 off of the, the third one? You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, let me just get this one. I chose this out of the other one that I had and I'm quite glad I chose this because this is like a Japanese vintage. It's just this green, really cool stripe. It's airy. The buttons here, they're textured and they're like a slate grey. And it's new so I think it's just dead stock. Usually all of their blouses, because they can be oversized, they roll up all the sleeves to its like short length. And they also tie the ends to make it look cropped. So I think I'm gonna rock it long sleeves for a while. If I get bored of it, then I'll cut short sleeves. Because I just find that short sleeves uh, work better with Singapore's weather. But yeah, really excited that I got this. And with that, I think we're done. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, if you want to see more hauls, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. Did you know that my first video ever on this channel is actually a Bangkok haul? Oh, it was for my blog because people were like, what do you get in Bangkok we want to see? And that's how the channel started. So I'm feeling a little nostalgic. I'm feeling a little like romantic about it. Like, oh my gosh, we've come full circle. And like, oh, just I'm so excited about this. And, and, the, and the tea towel. I was sort of like feeling a little bit guilty because I was like, I got a lot of stuff. But then again, I'm a grown ass adult. I'm earning my own money. And these are things that truly make me very, very happy. And these are stuff that I feel when you compare to like five years ago, like the stuff that I got, it's so more grown up and it's way more me. I feel like I've grown into myself more. Giveaway time! Okay, cool. Instead of meeting them, I just asked them over phone and I was like, which one do you prefer? The blue or the brown? Remember, I have two of the browns and one of the blue, right? This one is slightly more expressive and then this one is a lot more neutral. And I think I saw it coming. I actually predicted that they would choose what they chose. So Shemin chose this, which is more neutral, classic, everyday. And Sarah chose something to experiment with, which means this one is up for grabs. This one is ready for that giveaway live. Okay, let me just remove this, but not touch it. All right. So if you want to win the Love Sweet Eyeshadow Palette in shade set number three, Okay, what should you do? I don't know, I re didn't really think about this. <laughs> so just subscribe to the channel and then comment down below on your favourite recommendation, food, shopping, or like just sightseeing in Bangkok or other places you like to visit if you've never been to Bangkok. I should visit if you've never been to Bangkok. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!